welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made some greeting cards for my shop and my Etsy shop. I recently got this lovely Canon Pro 1000 printer and I have been using it to make my greeting cards. One of the most important things for me when I buy a greeting card is the quality of the paper and I wanted to make sure I had something sturdy that would stand up on its own and my previous Canon printer didn't really print very well on this really heavy cardstock. I got some brown envelopes to go with my cards because I felt like that really sort of matched my illustration style. Since the cardstock that I bought is 8.5 by 11, which is standard letter size, I made a template in Photoshop where I could print two cards at a time. So I divided the page into four, and this leads to the cards being about 4.25 by 5.5 inches. Um, and this works really well for me. I find the size ratio is good for my illustrations that I already create, so it's nice for me to just be able to reuse my work. I must have not had my morning coffee that morning because I printed the cards backwards and they ended up being with the logo placement in the front. So. I had to reprint it, but this first um, trial run really helped me see how the paper would handle the ink and it worked really well with my printer. I bought this little paper trimmer on Amazon. This is my third paper trimmer that I have, but this one has a scoring tool as well, which helps to create that fold. Because I'm using such heavy cardstock, it's important to have this tool so that the paper doesn't get uh, ripped or just damaged from me trying to fold it. Once I had the paper trimmed, I just made sure that everything fit in the envelope correctly, that it wasn't too hard to get in and out of the envelope. Sometimes if you used a uh, paper that was a little bit too large and a little bit too thick, it would be very difficult for the customer to be able to pull it in and out of the envelope and that's just kind of annoying to buy so greeting cards are typically something that you want people to come back again and again for since it's something that they're giving away. So once I was happy with my sizing and placement and everything, I made some different designs using some different illustrations of mine. I took some photos of the greeting cards and I'm just editing them here to add to the listings. For those of you wondering, I am using Snapseed here to edit my photos and then I bring them into Visco Cam and add my favorite filters on them. I don't add too much of a filter just to make sure the colors aren't too warped, um, but I just find it helps brighten them up a little bit. Once I have my photos, I'm just adding them to my Etsy listing. I decided to add uh, multiple listings so I would have for example, one card for $7 Canadian or four cards for about $25. Um, I did them in pairs of two just because I am printing them in two, so it's a little bit easier for me to manage it that way. I currently use my printers for my art prints as well, so I just want to make sure I can manage the workload. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!